Hi guys, it's Shell Sunbury Housewives. Welcome back to another DIY. Today I'm participating in a challenge. This is the Trash to Treasure Challenge and it's hosted by Casey from Coffee with My Sunshine and her co-host this month is According to Cat. So what the challenge is, is taking something you would just throw away and turning it into something that is actually usable. So I'm going to list both of their channels in the description box below along with the playlist. So when you're done watching my video, make sure that you go check out all the other videos that is listed. So I'm actually going to take this box. It's a makeup um, box that Benefit came in. And um, as I was cleaning up my makeup area, I almost threw this out and um it's really cute it has a little class but i thought oh, surely i can make this into something and then when i seen casey's video um about her, her series coming i thought oh this is perfect so i am going to see what i can make in this into so let's go ahead and get into the video the first thing i do is i remove the insert and i take my waverly chalk paint and ink and I give this entire box one coat. Now I take the giant craft sticks from Walmart and I'm gonna measure out the width that I need to lay down the bottom. And I use the Waverly Antique Wax to stain these sticks. Now I will let you know the bottom piece that I lay down in the top are two different sizes. So I do these individually. I don't cut all the sticks at once. So at this point I had to trim the piece because it was too wide to fit in the space and I knew I'd have to do the same for the top as well. So I left this piece longer and would have to cut it down. So I just take my box cutter and slice off down the middle or the spot that I needed so that I would be able to fit it in the spot and I go ahead and glue that in as well. Then I was ready to move on to the top and I do the same exact thing for the top of the box. So I take some additional craft sticks and I'm going to make some compartments. For this one, I am making one long one to the side 
and then I'm gonna go ahead fit it to where I want it and then I'm gonna glue it into place. And then I take another one and I glue that one towards the um, middle or I guess towards the top of that box and um, glue that down. And then in the middle of that, I'm going to glue down a divider so that I have two equal compartments. And then I take another um, stick and glue it in the middle of the bottom of the box in that middle um, craft stick and um, glue that down. And in that middle section, I'm going to put some dividers to make smaller compartments. I add a divider in the bottom one just to make two even compartments and then in that middle row I add the last divider just to make that smaller compartment. To dress up this box a little more I'm taking one of these stencils from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to put it on the outside of the box. And I only did the front and the sides of the box, but um, this little stencil was a three pack from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just stamping on some of the Cashew Waverly chalk paint. Thought this was such a pretty design so I'm glad I chose this one so I peel off the other side and then I match up the other portion of the rest of the box to finish that off and I took another stencil from the Dollar Tree and I placed it on the top of the box and smooth that out and then I'm just going to um, stencil with the same paint the saying on top of the box. I did go over the entire box with some matte Mod Podge just to seal it. I did decide to go ahead and add some jute rope around the box all the way around just to cover up where the feet of the box and the actual box connect.
And to finish it off, I just decided to take some skinnier jute rope and um, wrap it around my fingers around five times and create just a little twine bow and glue that to the front of the box as well. I love this. It turned out so good. Just looking at it, you would never know that this was just some cardboard box that should have been thrown away. Thank you to Kat and to Casey for hosting this challenge. And make sure that you go and check out the playlist below. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.